little tricky to get into very tricky to get into kind of windy and um, you can actually drag in this anchorage so the sailing is rough Guys, this is Tony. I just want to stop for just a minute and just thank everyone that's been following us and subscribing and watching the videos. Me and Kathy love putting out the videos. We're having a great time. And I hope you enjoy watching them also. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps us with YouTube. And I really appreciate each and every one of you that follow us. So I hope you uh, like the video. We'll get back to the video now. So this is so this is Tony and here we are in Fernandino, Florida. Beautiful place, nice anchorage. A little tricky to get into. Very tricky to get into. Kind of windy. And um, you can actually drag in this anchorage. So if you're coming into the anchorage, definitely get on the mooring ball. So here's what it looks like. kind of a channel where the wind just really rips through and also the current is uh, fairly swift so like I say if you come into this anchorage definitely try to get on a mooring ball it's much safer because some of the boats do drag if they try to uh, anchor it's really deep here trying to put out enough scope on an anchor road is hard so Nancy, what do you think about this oil machine? You think we're getting closer to getting it fixed? I think we're getting closer. Like I just did some stitches and they turned out quite lovely, back like it used to be. So I'm real excited. Awesome. Now we're gonna try something a little thicker and see if it's gonna hold up. Yeah, so we've been working on the tensioner right here. Um, had a little problem with the spring, kind of straightened it out and put it back together. And it's not perfect, may have to order some parts, but much closer. So I don't know, we'll see how it sounds. As long as I don't have to rip stitches, I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I don't think we're perfect, but we're getting it's better. Better. Nice. Much yes. better. I'm not screaming. Yes. I'm not crying. <laughs> I have a filter so, question. Yeah, she's so. Congratulations on the new there. Well, we're better than we were, I think. Not completely, but. All right. Yay. Yes. Yeah. Hey, let's see what Matt's doing. Matt, right. what are we doing? Back to uh, oil filters here. Yes, sir. All right, so we bought these replacement ones. They're both the same microns. Check out this old one. Look at that. Ooh, Matt, that could be a problem. <laughs> Look at how can you even get anything through, through there? Oh. Anyway, now look. 
That's okay, the handle's different. Mm -hmm. The bottom is a little different. Mm -hmm. All it is is lifting up the fuel. It's the same filter. What do you think? Diameter the same? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yep. Same height, just a different bottom now. Yeah, I think it should work. It should. I mean, yeah. the only thing about the bottom is it's just, uh, well, really giving a place for debris to sit down here. Mm -hmm. Filter pulls from the middle. Yeah, that should be all right. Yeah, I think right. it's still gonna go through the filter and do its job. So we're gonna put it in. We'll try it. We'll put it in and try. Okay. Captain Matt and mechanic Matt and in ready. action. Get these in. We'll be ready to roll. <laughs> right. <Like>, leave. <laughs> So we kind of figured out how not to come in this landing and anchor up because we got a boat over there that, uh, yeah, not sure he's going anywhere. That could have been there for a long time. I don't think it's sitting on the waterway, but I think it's sitting on land. Welcome back to Florida. Well, congratulations on the swing machine. That's really good. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, Congrats, Tony. Nan. All right, so the kid is still down laying on the bed mattress, folding it over, so we got to get this going so she can get back to school. But let's see if this works. Moment of truth. So what are we doing, Matt? I'll explain a little bit more. Yeah. What have you done so far? So you've seen the fuel filter change. I showed you that down below. I just added five gallons to the tank. Now we're going to turn over the engine and make sure that, uh, make sure it works. I'm anticipating a little stall. There's going to be some air in the fuel line. And I'm also anticipating it's gonna it's gonna run right through it. Here we go. Give it a little extra fuel. Let's wait. It's about ten seconds. seconds. I think we're good. Yes, Talk. man. Sounds funny. Sounds funny. What, what do you mean it sounds funny? It sounds funny down there. So, so Matt's going to check. Whistling? Yeah. Like the belt's whistling? I don't know. You hear that squeak? I've never heard that squeak before. Bird. Maybe there's a bird stuck in there. Yeah, we could check the belts. Did you back open the fuel tanks open? Fuel tanks open. The, the, the valve is open. We would have died by now. We would have died. Fuel's good. Yeah. Now we got a squeaky belt. We'll fix that too. All right. So yeah, that is strange, isn't it? Let me give it some gas and see if it kicks through there. Totally new. It's a chirping sound. Yeah. Maybe. And maybe that has something to do with the fuel pump is not belt driven. No? No. Just a belt. And why did that just. We've had one thing we fix right after the other. The LED fire last night, the boat drifting into us, the sewing machine, the fuel, and now we got belts. So. <laughs> to uh, really tell how this is all working, when Matt invited me aboard, he says, I'm going to give you the experience of your lifetime. <laughs> you will have multiple tasks before we quit just to see, yeah, make sure you really know what you're doing on this sailing thing. So thank you, Matt. I think, uh, yeah, you can probably slow down on those now. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, on, the Kate test. It. You can slow down, Kate. <laughs> the test is on. So, all right. Good job, Matt. So Nancy, do you have any tips for me today when I do buy my sailboat? Yes, I do. If you buy a sailboat and it has a mattress in it, and you might have cooler weather, the underneath the mattress or underneath the cushions, it'll start to like sweat. And so you buy this stuff called Hypervent, and it lifts the mattress up. It has like this little hard plastic layer with these holes through it, and allows it to breathe under the bed so you don't mess up the mattress. We've messed up two mattresses that way, so. Awesome. So this not is sponsored, right? Not, 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 <laughs> Nancy's tip of the day to save Tony and his 
uh, excursions that will be coming out. Right. So, thank you, Nancy. Here, I'll do, a, I'll do a display. So now Matt's going to have our navigation meeting so we know where we're going and how we're going to get there. So, okay, Matt. All right, so we're looking at the Navionics here. I'll hold it up so we can, well, it's good. We're uh, starting here at uh, St. Mary's entrance. That's Fernandina. And the goal here is to make it down to St. Augustine. It's about 50 total miles, maybe 55. We don't want to go offshore because we have some unsettled weather on the way. And we've been offshore enough. We're going to take an easy route and get some, get some computer work done as we go. So here's our route for today. Um, we can go all the way to St. John's if we want to knock out five hours. If we're going to stop halfway through, we could stop right here. Uh, there's an anchorage. So we're going to zoom in and check out some shoaling. And we see low, we're at low tide right now, so these shoals will be really evident. We're going to have to go around all of them. Too close for that anchorage that's about 20 minutes away We've got a bridge but it's a uh, vertical clearance of five feet so we're gonna have to call that swing bridge let's see if they're on a schedule or if they're a call twin highway amelia island all right so it's a fixed bridge vertical clearance 65 feet what was that uh swing bridge right here Railway Bridge. Pivot Swing Bridge. Normally open, so it should be open. All right, so we're just gonna get there and see if it's open or not. If it's closed, they're not gonna open it because there's a train coming. So we're good with that. Now I can click on any one of these waypoints and it will tell me how far it is. So here we can see to waypoint 10, we got four nautical miles, which is less than an hour. So even though there's anchorage here, we're gonna keep trucking. Here's a good anchorage back here. All right, so we could uh, come down the river and around this shoaling and we'll have a anchorage opportunity. That's waypoint 19, six nautical miles. That's still only an hour away. Let's go further past the Nassau Sound. Here's an anchorage opportunity. There we go. There's room for one. Twelve, that's about two hours. So we could squeeze in room for one in this area. Nine feet deep, seven to eight feet deep. Or on the other side, but you're still kind of near the channel. That's a little dangerous for an overnight, right? I, mean, I think we can at least make three hours. I think we're going to need to do three hours. True that. Let's go further down the ICW. So here is Fort George River, and this is right by St. John's River. So we need to be on one side or the other of St. John's. Let's see how far this is to mark the 39. It's a little over two hours away, so we might shoot. Let's go to the other side. The other side. Although there is anchorage opportunity here, so if we get tired, we can anchor here. Three hours. There we go. Three hours. We'd be anchored up right here in this little cut. There's plenty of room in case there's people already there. What other options do we have in case it's filled, though? We could backtrack a bit anchor off here. You can't just go under that bridge and keep going? We could. If, uh, if this anchorage is filled, we can go under the bridge. Clearance is 65 feet. Cut across St. John's. And what's on the other side? Anchorage opportunity there. Yeah. So I think today's destination is St. John's River, three hours. Shouldn't be bad, be there before dark, before second lunch. <laughs> then we can have first dinner. <laughs> and then when the sun sets, we'll have second dinner. Good? Yeah, across the journey on three. So here's the crew. 
We are excellent. Oh, sorry, I made a big break. I, I made, so thank you, Matt, for the overview. So we know what we're doing. So Matt's really good about planning ahead and letting us know everything where we're going to encounter and supposed to do so that the crew is not surprised and everybody's on board makes a good team. So, all right. What a great bunch. Let's get it's, out of here. Let's get out of here. We should have a smooth, safe sail down the ICW from Fernandino Beach Anchorage down to the St. John River Anchorage. It's about 27 miles and the weather is calm. Quite a spread, did Yep. It's delicious. Here you go, this, baby. This sailing is rough. This, this is so good. tough. Oh, my. I'm telling you. It's tough. Good bunch. Red marker. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't go to the red. Right, it looks like it's 20 feet right here, straight shot. Okay. Is that what you see? Yeah. Where are we going, Captain Nancy? We don't know. <laughs> All right. Awesome day. No, we're heading toward St. Augustine, and we're going to anchor tonight in the St. John River. River. <laughs> I know where we're going. So, right. no schedule, right, man? Not really, just taking it easy next few days. Get there when we get there. Get there when we get there, the wind's helping us. We're gonna jive here in a second, right? Yes, we'll Okay. Have to turn. I'll do the next jive, and then Tony can have the one after that. Oh, All right. Fancy. Oh, yeah, and look. Shorts. Woo! Yeah. Warm Winter. weather. Wintertime legs. Look at this, warm weather. Wow. It's been nice. Good. Are you ready to jump? Yes, Mother is ready. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. 
down there. She just loves to be in your jacket. She's sleepies. <laughs> 